We thank you, Lord. We thank you for bringing us together one more time. Come on, let's praise him, Woodbury. We bless your name, God. We lift your name, God. We bless your name. Oh, God, we thank you for another day, another opportunity to come before your presence one more time. God, we thank you for covering us all week long. Father, we come to bless your name today. We come to uplift your name today. We come to give you glory, Father. We thank you, God, for covering our children. Thank you, God, for protecting our families. Thank you for this ministry, God. Thank you for our leader. Thank you for those that are here right now. Father, we pray that in this day, you visit us in a mighty way, that your presence will be here both now and forevermore. And we bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let's read our scriptures, Psalms. 96, 1 through 3. 1, 2, 3, read. Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Amen. How many know it's good to be in the house of the Lord? Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Come on, help us worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we worship you right now. Hallelujah, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, we worship you. Listen. Oh, how good it is to be in the presence of the Lord. My soul rejoices to be in the presence of the King. So refreshing, such a blessing. There's no place I'd rather be than in the presence of a King. Hallelujah. Listen. Oh, how good it is to be in the presence of the Lord. My soul rejoices to be in the presence of the King. So refreshing, such a blessing. There's no place I'd rather be the presence of the King. Hallelujah. Come on, praise team, sing. Oh, how good, oh, how good it is to be, to be in the presence of the Lord. My soul, My soul rejoices to be in the presence of the King. So, so refreshing. Such a blessing. Such a blessing. There's no place. There's no, no place I'd rather be in the presence of the King. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Now, here's what it make us want to do. Listen. Make us want to sing. Yeah. Make me want to shout. Make me want to holler. Make me want to sing. Yeah. Make me want to shout. Make me want to holler. Here we go. Throw up my hand. Put your hands together in the atmosphere. Throw up my hands. Come on, sing it. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to shout. Makes me want to holler. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to shout.
Jesus. So I do my dance. So I do my dance. Hallelujah. So we shout for joy. So we shout for joy. Hallelujah. So we lift our hands. So we lift our hands. Come on, y'all, sing it real big. Yeah. So we leap for joy. Hallelujah. So we leap for joy. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I do my dance. So I do my dance. Yeah. Come on, y'all, sing it real big. So we do all dance. So we do my dance. Here we go. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to shout. Makes me want to holler. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to sing. Makes me want to shout. Makes me want to holler. Throw up my hand. Throw up my hand. Hallelujah, Jesus. Throw up my hand. Hallelujah. Listen. Oh, how good it is to be in the presence of the Lord. My soul rejoices to be in the presence of the King. So refreshing. Such a blessing. There's no place I'd rather be in the presence of our king. Yeah, Come on and bless your yeah, hands. How many want to be in the presence yeah, of our king? Yeah. Isn't he been good to you? Yeah. Isn't he made a way for you? Yes. Isn't he want open doors for you? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jira. How many know that he's our Jira? Yeah. Yeah. Our provider. Yeah. I don't care what you're going through. Hallelujah. I'll never be more loved yeah. than I am right now. Yeah. Wasn't holding me up. So there's nothing I can do to let you down. Yes. It doesn't take a trophy to make me proud. I'll never be more loved than I am right now. Come on, y'all, sing it. Hallelujah. Going through a storm, Hallelujah. but I won't go down. I hear your voice carried in the rhythm of the wind to call me out. You would cross the ocean, so I wouldn't drown. You've never been closer than you are right now. Come on, y'all, sing it, Jara. You are enough, Jara. Jara, you are enough. I will be content in every circumstance, Jara. You are enough. It's more than enough. Yeah. Always enough. More than enough. enough. Hallelujah, forever enough, you're always enough, more than enough. I'm already loved, I'm already chosen, Hallelujah. I know who I am, yeah. I know what you've spoken, Hallelujah. I'm already loved, more than I could imagine. And that is enough. Come on, everybody, sing it. Oh, I'm, I'm already loved. Already loved. I'm already chosen. Already chosen. I know who I am. I know, who I, am. I know what you hey. spoke. Know what you spoke. I'm already loved. Already Say it again. I'm already, already loved. 
Spirit. That is enough. That is enough. We love you, Jesus, and bless your name. That is your hands if you know he's brother enough hallelujah if you know he's brother enough hallelujah we love this part come on Letha sing it hallelujah if he dresses a lily hallelujah. with beauty and splendor how much more will he clothe you how much more will he clothe you if he watches over If he dresses the lily with beauty and splendor, how much more will he go? How much more will he go? How much more will he go? If he watches over every sparrow, how much more does he love you? How much more does he love you? Oh, if he dresses the lily, oh, with beauty. What do you ask, think, or imagine? Yeah. According to his power, working in us, working in us. What do you ask, think, or imagine? According to his power, working in us, working in us. That's what we can say, Chara. Listen. Tara, you are enough. Hallelujah. Tara, you are enough. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Hallelujah. I didn't know he's enough. Hey, man, he is enough. You got a lot of wannabes, but Jehovah Jack, he is enough. He will provide. I didn't know he'll make a way where that seems to be no way because he's Jehovah Jireh. Amen. We can never be enough, amen, on our own. Amen. It's just like when you ain't got no money in the bank, it's an insufficient fund. How many have got one of them notice? insufficient funds that means you ain't got enough in your account amen what they call it you don't know it's wrong amen but we thank god amen you amen that he's jehovah jireh amen he's more it say he's more than enough come on let's bless the lord for the praise amen 
He's more than enough. More than you can ask, think, or imagine. Amen. According to the power that worketh on the inside of you. Amen. He's more than enough. And we just appreciate God for being back in the presence of the Lord. Come on, let's bless him again. Amen. We want to appreciate the Lord, amen, for allowing us to come together, amen, in fellowship. And I tell you, amen, I'm just appreciating God for the opportunity to be able to come, amen, and be a part, amen. What a blessing. We want to appreciate the Lord this morning for our bishop and our first lady, amen. Amen. We just thank God, amen, for all the things that have gone on, amen. We had a lot of death, amen, in the surrounding areas, amen, the bereaved family, amen very much in need of your prayers. Amen. How I many know, amen, when you go through something, amen, it means a lot when somebody can come alongside you. Amen. And just encourage you and strengthen you. Amen. He said it means so much. Amen. For folks to come, amen, and support you. That's what support is, isn't it? Coming alongside you. Tell your neighbor, come on alongside me. Hallelujah. Amen. And support. Amen. I, amen. I often say, amen, that when you are going through something, you're crying, amen, and that left eye better not tell the right eye. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Because when I cry, I cry out of both of my eyes. Tell your neighbor, see, you got to cry out of both of your eyes. Amen. Don't tell me y'all ain't got nothing to do with it when it concerns me. Hallelujah. Amen. Because I need that support. Amen. And I thank God for it. When you give it out, it'll come back to you. What a blessing, amen. So we want you to be praying for them, amen, different ones. Also, special prayer is requested for our brother Willie Harris, amen. This is Sister Diane Harris' husband, amen. Prayer is requested for him. I also want to let you know, amen, to be praying for all of our mothers, our deacon, amen. I think about it, amen, our mother Liz, amen. How God bless her to be here 90 years. What a blessing. Hallelujah. And we just appreciate God for all of you. Amen. We appreciate God. Amen. This morning. Amen. For the ones that graduated. Amen. We got a, quite a few of them. Amen. We, do we have some of the graduates in the house this morning? Kitty did like this. <laughs> I love Kitty. Amen. She got a sweet spirit. Amen. Amen. But we thank God for all of our graduates. Come on, amen. Let's thank God for them. Amen. Amen. Happy to Montreal coming down the hallway. <laughs> Come on in to Montreal. Amen. We had a celebration for him on yesterday. Amen. And I tell you, his voice has changed so much. He said, I just want to thank y'all. Amen. How you support. Amen. In support, good. Amen. And we just thank God, amen, for all of you, amen, and what you've done, amen. We had the, amen, the drive through, amen. Bishop and First Lady, they were the first one in the line, amen. They were the first one there. Amen. They believe in being on time. We thank God for your patience, Bishop, you and First Lady. <laughs> thank God for all of you, amen, for your prayers, amen. And maybe you didn't get a chance to come, amen, but, amen, maybe, amen, you, amen, shared, amen, your donation or, Amen. Encouragement along the way. Amen. But we thank God for all of you. Amen. Amen. Today is the last day for your documentation. Amen. To give it to Ella Tahita. Amen. You can do it by email. Amen. And send in those documentation. Amen. For the ones that graduate. Amen. Honor students. Amen. Today is that last day. So you have an opportunity to do that today. Also, Tuesday is our church fast day. And Bible study at 7 o'clock p.m. on Tuesday, amen, which is taught by Ella Ford over in the Lucia Wood Fellowship Hall. And we just want to appreciate God for all of you this morning. Thank God, amen. Y'all have a blessed day. Amen. Truly, God is a good God. And he's worthy to be praised. I was just sitting there thinking about ones that graduated from Montreal. We like to make a big deal out of it. We want to honor you. We want to let you know that we are proud of you. 
because a lot of times we'll make a whole lot of noise when they mess up or when they do something wrong. But when they do something right, you need to celebrate it. You need to celebrate it and realize that that's a huge step in getting that diploma. It's offering time. Give and it shall be given unto you. Press down and shake it together, run over. With good measure shall men give unto your bosom. And we're going to ask the deacons if they would come. At this time. God is an awesome God. Just sitting here thinking about that song, Jaira, more than enough. Bow your heads with me, kind Heavenly Father. We thank you right now for this offering. We ask and pray that you touch, bless it, as you said in your word, that you would, your word would not come, come back void, that you would bless, that you would give increase. You even said that you would give seed to the sower. Maybe someone here that would desire to sow but don't have it. God, make a way for them to have that seed to sow into this man. God, we give you the praise, the glory, and all of the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Deacons, you can receive our offering. I hear you over there, Kurt Franklin. Melodies from heaven. Malachi 3 and 8 say, will a man rob God? But you say, wherein have we robbed thee in tithe and offering? Bring ye all the tithes to the storehouse, that there may be meat in mine house, and prove me, if you will, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that you would not have room enough to receive it, and I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. And all nations shall call you blessed. I'd like to encourage you to give. There are three ways that you can give and sow into this ministry. You can, if you don't have time, you can go to your cash app, dollar sign WMFC Church, and we'll receive that offering through cash app. If you want to do it on the online banking, it's WMFC Woodbury Miracle Fellowship Center. And then that will pull up and you can send it from bank to bank. Also, you can mail that offering in at P.O. Box 511, Woodbury, Georgia. And God will richly bless you if you are so into this ministry. This is good ground. This is good ground to sow in. And watch God give the increase. I, I, I want to encourage you to expect God to move on your behalf. I want to encourage you to give your seed an assignment. Yeah. Put, 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 put something on it. Say, Lord, I'm sowing this seed because I want my family saved. I'm sowing this seed because I'm expecting you to heal my child. Give that seed an assignment. Watch God open that door. Watch God do the miracle that you're asking him to do. We know we can't pay for no blessing. That's but right. you can give that seed. You can sow that seed. You can sow that seed and give it an assignment. And watch God bless your life. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Woo! God is good, and God is good all the time. Amen? For this is the day that the Lord has made. I, I, not only I, but you shall rejoice and be glad in this day. Now, I know it, it might be a little difficult for you to do, but I need you to get up and go bump somebody. How you bump them like that right there and tell them God is on my side? Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, if it had not been for him. Uh-huh, where would I be today? Because it was the law 
and that was on my, oh, it was the Lord, and that was on my side. Woo, if it had not been for him, where would I be today? Yeah, yeah, if it had not been for him, where would I be today? And now I need you to do one more thing. We get ready to bring the man of God, but get up on your feet and turn around. I used to go turn all the way around without stopping, but I got to kind of slow with it right now, you know, just turn around and say, God, finna turn some things. Yeah, uh-huh, he finna turn some things around for me. Oh, yeah, yeah, put your hands together, everybody. Yeah, yes, 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 yes. So we just thank God everybody resting on your feet. We got a young man that can preach and will preach. Amen. I love the Lord, love his family, love his kids. And we done took a stand for the Lord and we ain't about, I say we, uh-huh, we ain't about to turn around now. God done bought me too far. Look at somebody say, God done bought me too far. For me to turn around now. God got some things. Look, that's a greater day. That's a greater, that's something. Right down to what I'm trying to go see. Paul told us that press toward that mark. I got to get to that mark, that mark. Uh huh. That's where I'm trying to go. I'm forgetting those things which are behind me and I'm pressing. Look at somebody and say, I'm pressing towards those things that were laid before me. Amen. God got a blessing for me. How about y'all? God got a blessing for me. How about you? Woo. Put your hands together. Let's see our pastor. The Bishop, Bishop Daniels. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap, if you will. Come on, clap those hands for Jesus. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God is good, amen. All the time, God is good. We're grateful for the bee. In the presence of the Lord, we thank God for all of you that have come to celebrate. Amen on this day. Amen. And we're grateful for you being here. I would like to make a couple of uh, announcements. This coming Thursday night, uh, being uh, Roberta George, a Word of God, Tabernacle will be there with uh, Pastor Betty Martin and the Saints, Word of God, Tabernacle. Amen. We're going to minister down there on this coming Thursday night at 7 o'clock those that can make it, amen. We've been slow. We haven't been asking uh, the church to travel with us. We've opened, some doors have opened up and we've been going through them, but we haven't asked the church, but we're going to start trying to get some of the members to come out and help us in some of these uh, services, amen. Amen. Also, we want to try to get a, uh, at least a 30-minute Sunday school uh, teaching going on here at the church. <laughs> amen. Amen. Well, the, the hand claps make me happy, okay? Uh, we want to, and, and what we'd like to do, we're trying to save the 10 to 11. So if we could, if, it, if we could get here at, amen, from 9.30 to 9.55, and then we'll start. Is that all right? Good. They clapping at that. You know what? Y'all some wonderful folks. Y'all some good, godly people, amen. That will give Sister Brenda an opportunity. She's been waiting for a while, so look like the wait is over. What we're going to do, we're going to bring the men and women together, then eventually we'll go at the men. Normally the men be in the fellowship hall, and, 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 and Brother Phil and the men department in the fellowship hall, the women over here, but we're going to combine together, and then eventually we'll get back to the way we normally do it. Is that all right? Amen. Also, fourth Sunday, amen, of this month. We're gonna, next Sunday we're going to ask Pastor Parks. If she could minister, amen, for us on next Sunday, which is the third Sunday. I believe that's Father's Day. Oh, only feel is hollering for the fathers, but uh, that's all right. Somebody's hollering for the brotherhood, amen. But amen, that will be next Sunday, Pastor Park will be ministering. On the fourth Sunday, amen, we're going to celebrate our graduates on the fourth Sunday. We're going to name it Hope Express. Amen. We're going to name it Hope Express, and we're asking uh, past, uh, uh, Pastor uh, Afford and uh, Joanne Holston, amen, to come and celebrate Hope Express. Normally, they come 
on a Friday night with book bag giveaway. Amen. And we celebrate uh, when they come. But uh, we're asking them to come on next Sunday. And we're going to make it a special day for our graduates. Amen. If the graduates want to come in their attire, they're welcome to come in their uh, school attire. And we're just going to celebrate it. We're not going to take long. We still want to keep the hour. But we're going to take time to celebrate these young people. Some of them, it, 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 well, I don't want to start talking about them because God is good. Yes. Well, 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 well. If you, if you want to come in your robe, you can come in your robe. Is that all right? Yeah, I think so. You're going to spend four years of working on it. You might as well show it off to somebody. Somebody ought to, somebody ought to see it. Then we're going to have them to walk out. At the end of the service, we're going to have a, a parade where they can walk in. And out. that'll be just the a, uh, that high school and the college sp- student. We don't want the babes to get caught in that. But we want to celebrate that day. It's going to be Hope Express. It's going to be Hope Express Day where we just celebrate. Is that all right? Yes. Amen. And we'll give you next Sunday, uh, hopefully, uh, we'll give you more information concerning that. But God is good. God is good. We're gradually trying to move. I will say this, since it came out on the news, uh, my, my sister called, she used to live in Winter Robins, and she called last week, and she was saying that there was a man, uh, a gentleman, a Caucasian gentleman that uh, called the church over in Winter Robins, the Dome Church, where we have a lot of weddings, different things, and he called the church, they were having a Bible study, or whatever, that night, and he called and, and said, could I come uh, to your to service? Would it be okay for me to come? And they said, I'm sure we'd love to have you come. And he came, and just so happened there was a security guard there who was a police officer, and he decided he would check him out at the door. And when he checked him out at the door, he realized that he was nervous. And, and so he sent somebody out to tag his uh, tag, get his tag, sent that down to the police department. Amen. They went, the police department went to his house, all kind of guns at the house. They looked in the car, all kind of guns in the car. He went for, in one of Robbins, Georgia. He went there that night to kill some folks. We living in a tough day. We live in a tough time. Now I'm getting about ready to put some locks on these doors around here, y'all. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Moving on. But God is good. Thank God that nothing happened. And that's the, that's the blessing of it. That's the blessing of it. Amen. God is good. And all of us know all that we've gone through for the last uh, few years. Amen. God has kept us. And we're grateful for the goodness of the Lord. And we're grateful for his love and his kindness. Amen. Amen. Moving into the word of God in Colossians. In Colossians, the amen, first chapter. Colossians 1 and 13. Colossians, the first chapter, 1 and 13. And it reads, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Fathers, we enter your word on today, we pray that you may touch our hearts, our minds. Lord, somebody came looking for a miracle. Somebody need a touch. Somebody need healing. But whatever that need is, God, we pray that you will supply that need according to your riches in glory. God, we need you. America needs you. The world needs you. I've never seen a day like we're living in. But God, in the midst of it all, you have a plan. And we're trusting your plan. We're trusting your will. Hide us behind your glory that the people may see you, God. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you're about to do. We thank you for what you're going to do. We give you all of the glory and all of the honor and all the praise belongs unto you. 
Now touch us and heal us and deliver us and set the captive free, Lord. And we give you praise and honor in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Uh, uh, topic for today, I have been delivered. I have been delivered. I have been delivered. In that 13th verse, who hath delivered us from the power of darkness, who hath delivered us. Every one of us, we were born in darkness. We were born in sin. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. You must be born again. Those who have been born again have been redeemed from darkness. When we are born, everybody's born is born in sin, so we have the capacity and the nature to sin. And that's just what we do. And the best that you can do, you're still a sinner. I don't care if you never rob a bank. I don't care whatever you do. Amen. You're still born in sin. And that ability to sin is deep down within you. But here the writer is saying, Paul is talking to the Galatians church, and he's saying that he who hath delivered us from the power of darkness. Now when you come to the church, you are literally delivered from darkness. When you meet Jesus, when you accept him, when you're born again, you're, 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 it's a new birth. You can't really see into it. You've got to walk into it. You've got to live into it. So we are transformed, translated from darkness. When you're born again, you're changed from the way you used to be. You're transferred from how you used to act, how you used to live. Transferred from darkness. Delivered from darkness. Amen. And, and hath translated us into the kingdom of God. In other words, when you're born again, now you have a responsibility. You can't hang out with the crowd at the hole in the wall. You can't hang out with the crowd. You can't. The, the, the black book got to be thrown away. You can't have the girlfriends in every city. We have been translated from darkness. When you say you're a child of God, that means that you don't serve the devil no more. You have been trans The devil deals with darkness. And you have been transferred from darkness, translated from dark into the light. The Bible says in him was life, and that life was the light of men. Light shineth in darkness. Whatever child of God show up, the darkness has to vanish. Because light shine in darkness. When you go home at night and cut the light on in the kitchen, amen, the darkness has to go. The only way the darkness can come back, you got to cut the light off. And then darkness will appear again. Who hath translated us from the power of darkness? Let me tell you something about the power of darkness. Satan can make a fool out of you. Satan, if you're in darkness today, you're having a run down life because the devil don't care nothing about you. He want to destroy you. He wants you to go to hell with him because he's going. And he wants everybody he can get to go with him. And we've got to be translated from darkness into the light of our Lord and Savior, Jesus 
Christ. And God, God, amen, he used Noah, but Noah could not translate. He only got about eight folk. Amen. He used, he used Abraham. Abraham got his family. Abraham, amen, he got the children of Israel, but he couldn't get everybody. Moses couldn't get everybody through the wilderness. The only one that God could use to translate us from darkness to light is his son. The only one that God could use to get us from darkness to we were born in darkness, but when you're born again, you're born out of darkness into the marvelous light. Somebody say, well, uh, I would shout, but, but God didn't do what I asked him to do for me, so I'm a little upset. Listen, you can't praise God because you don't get everything you want. Nobody get everything. Nobody get everything they want, but you ought to praise him because he done changed your life. You ought to praise him because he woke you up this morning. You ought to praise him because God has been good to you. It could have been you. But it won and only reason because God got need of you. He, he wants you to stay here just a little while longer, but you've been translated. Look at your neighbors. I've been translated. I've been, I've been translated. And that, that 14th verse kind of explains it a little bit better in whom we have redemption through his blood. The only way you can be translated the blood of God, the blood of Jesus, has to be applied to your life. Amen. Now, now you keep the same blood in your body, but at Calvary, his blood was shared for all humanity. So in other words, we're living in him because of what he did at Calvary. So I said, well, I, I can't, Pastor, I've tried. I can't change. I can't, I can't stop the drugs. I can't stop the, the, the smoke. I can't stop the, 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 the women chasing. Yeah, yes, you can. Yes, you can. But you've got to have some blood applied to your life. And the first thing you got to do is want to come out. If you never want to come out, you ain't coming out. If you're enjoying what you're doing, you're going to keep on doing what you're doing because you enjoy. But if you're tired and sick and tired of doing what you're doing, then God has another way. He can bring you to the light. He can come in you, not just on the outside, but he can come in you and operate from the inside out of you. I don't care what you got bound today, we have been delivered. I don't care what hang up you got today. I don't care what you came in there with today. You have. Not that you're going to be. You have already been delivered. And whom the Son set free is free indeed. All you got to do is want him to free you. He can't free you if you don't want to get out of jail. But if you want to quit, and I don't care what your quit is, but if you want to quit it, you have been delivered. 14th verse, whom we have redemption through his blood. That's how we, get, we can escape from darkness. We have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin. There is no sin that you have ever done. Well, the blood cannot cleanse. There is nothing that you, some of us got some hang-ups over our past. Let me tell you something. Everybody got a past. Everybody done did. Don't let nobody tell you you're the worst person that ever been. And the person who's telling you that, they know they've been through hell and high water too. Can I get a witness? God's love is so great that while we were yet lost, he sent his son to die for humanity. And now we have redemption through his blood. Even the forgiveness 
of sins, sins past, sins present, sins future. Let me make it plain. Now, just because you've been born again, just because you speak in tongues, just because you're a, a part of the church don't mean that you'll never do nothing wrong. Let me make it plain. Let me make it plain. Let me make it plain. The old nature is still in us. God didn't take it out. Well, why didn't God? If he had taken it out, then I'd never have to worry. No, 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 no. He wants you to love him. He wants you to love him, and he wants you to choose to love him. He don't want to make. If a parent got to make the child love them, then they really don't love them. But God wants us to love him regardless. So he left the old nature in you. And every day you get up, you got to decide what nature do you want to take on that day. You can go back or you can stay where you are. You can go back into sin or you can stay secret. Every day you got to fight. The state say every day you got to fight to be a child of God he, whom he had redeemed us through his blood. Even the forgiveness, even the forgiveness, when you, when you tell a lie, and the reason you told a lie because your friend gave you the lie, and you repeated the lie, and you wind up being a liar because of your friend, but you can't put that on your friend because you didn't want to say the lie. So this is the amazing thing about what God has done. God has given us the ability to repent for the lie. I got about eight hand claps. I'm going to stop right here and teach something. Listen, the greatest thing that God has given humanity is for when a child of God do wrong, his blood is still covering. Oh, my God, you didn't get that. His blood is still covering even the forgiveness. God knows I made some mistakes. Sometimes I got home, and even before I left the church, some of the members would come and say, Bishop, now you quoted that scripture wrong. I said, no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. And, and so what I, what I had to do, I had to read it for myself. I'm back in the office, seeing that I messed it up, and feel I messed the whole scripture up. Okay, somebody said, well, well, Reverend, are you going to quit preaching? No! I'm just warming up. What it is, I made a mistake. Can I get rid of it? But the blood of Jesus on my life. I'm covered by the blood. I've been washed. In the blood. So, 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 when we pray to God, he told his disciples, pray, forgive us this day. Forgive us day by day. Every day you get up, you ought to thank God for his forgiving power, his blood, which is cleansing you and redeeming you. In other words, I have been delivered. Don't do what I used to do. Don't act like I used to have. And when I mess up, I know how to straighten up. I know how to get myself together. I know how to get myself together. I'm finna say something I shouldn't say. But I, a couple of weeks ago, I bagged up out of, my dry, out of the parking lot here where I parked and hit one of the members car. You're right. Lord, have mercy. So I couldn't run. That's a member. You can't run from your member. You know what I mean? And, and running is, 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 is an act of committing and you accepting the fact that you're guilty. See, some, some of the crime is when you lie. So I had to, I had to find out who coin was. I ain't calling no name, but it won you. I ain't calling no name, but I, I finally found the individual. It was just, it was just a little strange. But we still negotiating. Ain't no way I, I'm going to have to give him something. Right. Ain't no way, you know, nice car. So 
you got to, you got to, you got to honor what you do. You can't hide from nothing. The devil, you want to know, you want to know how the devil wears out when we got stuff undercover. Don't nobody know. It's a secret. There ain't no secret. The devil will weak you when you did it. And he's holding you hostage. He's keeping you in bondage. But I have been. Been delivered. You got to be honest. You got to be true. You got to know the truth. And the truth. And the truth. And the truth. I don't care what you say. The truth. Make you free and redeem you from the works of darkness. 18th verse. And, and he is the head of the body. Jesus. Head of the body. The church. Who is the beginning. The firstborn from the dead. That in all things he might have preeminence. In other words. Noah, Moses, Abraham. Could none of them do this have preeminence over everything. Jesus got preeminence over everything. In him dwelleth the power over our lives. He said, who said, 18th verse again, and he is the head of the body of the church who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. He was the first one that got up that's living forever. That in all things he might have preeminence. 19th verse. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Drugs are subject to his power. Homongan is subject to his body. You can't get into nothing that he can't get you out of. Homosexuality sure is quite in him. It's subject to his power. Everything that's in darkness is subject To his power. And we are complete. And we are complete in him. We are, when we get Christ, we are complete. In him. It means more than just be baptized. But when you come up, you got to come up walking in newness of life. You're buried with him by baptism, but you're raising up to walk in the newness of life. Now we got to practice walking right, living righteous, talking righteous. Why? Because we are complete. We have been delivered from darkness. The, the, the New Living Translation said, we have been rescued. I was sinking deep in sin. But I've been rescued. Well, what rescued you? Now, uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the uh, lifeguard couldn't rescue me. Love lifted me. God loved humanity so much until he sent his son to die for us. Love caused his son to come down from heaven. Step down to where we were. Bone of a woman. Bone. Bone in sin, but knew no sin. No God was found in him. And when he come into our lives, we become delivered. I don't care what you used to do when you're born again. I don't care how you used to act. 
when you're born again, he stepped down there where you are. He became sin. In other words, all the sins that Jeff had, he took them on him and carried every one of them to, to the cross. And he died for all past, present, and future. Because the only way we can see God, we got to be free from sin. God hates sin, and a sinner and a liar will not tarry in his sight. So we got to be righteous. The only way we can be righteous, we got to have the blood of Jesus applied. We got to be washed. Don't you worry about the thing you can't get over. If you keep hanging in there, God's going to get you over it. The reason why he ain't took you out of here is because he's giving you space to repent. He's giving you space to get over it. I know we got some things in us that we don't want to let go, but everything in you got to come out. If you want to see Jesus when he comes, everything in you got to come out. If you're here today, And you got a habit. I'm finna curse that habit. I'm finna send that habit back to who gave it to you. And I'm going to command that the Spirit of God touch, cleanse, and deliver you. I'm going to command that the power of God, which is greater than the power of the enemy. Jesus defeated him in heaven. He came down to earth and defeated him on the earth. He went in the grave and defeated him in the grave. And he's more than a conqueror to them that love him. Whatever, and this is all I want you to do. I want you to stand up. If there are some things in your life that you want rebuked, just raise both hands. That's all you got to do. All you got to do is just raise both hands. If your hands are up right now, Father, every hand that's up right now, I speak your healing power. I speak your deliverance power. I speak the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I command the rain from heaven to fall down on us right now. God, heal and deliver. Set the captive free. Say to the Lord, rebuke. I command you to loose. Your hope, whatever that hope may be, I command you to loose your hope. I command the captive to be free. That he led us captivity and he gave us gift unto men. I command you to be free right now. I speak over drugs. I speak over lust. I speak over temptation. Whatever the habit is, whatever the problem is, we're free. Be made whole. From this day forward, walk away. Just walk away and be free in the name of Jesus. And by faith, by faith, by faith, I call it done. In Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap. Somebody say, Where, Reverend? That's just too easy. No, it's not easy. Because Jesus was whipped all night long to get you there. He was beaten. He was whipped. He was wounded. He was oppressed, depressed. He took everything upon himself. Now, all we've got to do is live for him. He'll come back and give us and take us back to the Father. It's just that simple. It's just, he is waiting on us to surrender. And he'll come in and take a bull. Clean us up. Because as, as, as kids are playing, the blood will never. It'll never lose its power. It'll reach. Oh, it reaches to the high, yes, mountain, oh, yes, it does, and it flows to the low, it's valley, oh, the blood that's given 
me strength from day to day. You will never lose. You will never. You will never lose. You will never. You will never. Never. It will never, never lose. It's power. Come on, say it again. It reaches. And it reaches to the highest, to the highest, highest mountain. Oh, and it flows, and it flows. Hallelujah! Through the low, it's valley. Come on, everybody, sing it! Oh yes, the blood and the blood that give us strength from day, from day. To each day. day, it would never, it, it will never, never lose its power. How many know the blood will never lose its power? Never. I don't care what you're going through. It reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows. And it flows through the lowest down in the low, low valleys. valleys. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, oh, the blood. That the blood, blood. That blood Jesus shed. From day. 